It's remote, unmarked and dangerous. Saudi Arabia's mountain border with Yemen is this country's Achilles heel, the covert entry point for drug smugglers, gun runners and Al-Qaeda operatives. At least five Saudi guards have been killed here in recent shootouts. Now they plan to seal the border with a giant fence. So we're in Saudi, that's in Saudi, but this whole mountain here in front of us... In Yemen. ...is in Yemen. Yeah, that's right. What are the drug smugglers carrying in terms of weapons? They Mostly they carry hashish. In, in, in a lot of cases they carry weapons. Um, AK-47. They, they, yeah, AK-47. Uh, they carry, in, in a lot of cases, they, they carry small grenades. So it's, it's a big challenge here in, in this border. Down at the border crossing, the Saudis showed me dozens of illegal immigrants they've detained in this building. They say they check them for criminal records, then send them back to impoverished Yemen. Many will keep on trying to get in. But on the low coastal plain, the Saudis have already stemmed the tide of illegals by building this barrier. This border fence with Yemen is soon going to stretch all the way from the Red Sea in the west to the borders of Oman in the east. And the Saudis are very preoccupied with security. They've looked at the protest movements that have erupted around the Middle East with a lot of nervousness. They've reacted by sending troops into Bahrain. They've built a huge big border fence with Iraq. They've sent weapons to Syria. And they're watching with a lot of disapproval what's happening to their old ally, Egypt. The Saudi authorities are also having to deal with a rising tide of online criticism. In the, of the, desert, in the eastern town of Hofuf, I met one of the country's most prolific bloggers. He says the government can only buy people's support for so long. It might look as if Saudi Arabia is not affected by the Arab Spring, but people who live here feel that there have been an effect, and the government also feels it. So the government gave all these money handouts to the people you know, basically to buy their silence after, after the revolutions around the region. And if you go online now and see the kind of critical language they use against the government, you know that something has changed. For now, the Saudi regime survives. Undemocratic and with a poor human rights record, yet still enjoying a loyalty to the aging king. But as youth unemployment swells and a new generation comes to the throne, that may not always be the case. Frank Gardner, BBC News, Saudi Arabia.